Hitachi Storage Plugin for VMware vCenter integrates Hitachi Virtual Storage software block information and provisioning operations into the vSphere client. This integration enables VMware administrators to perform storage provisioning operations from the VMware user interface without having to switch between VMware and Hitachi management software. This video shows you how to provision, expand, monitor, and delete storage using the Hitachi Storage plugin for VMware vCenter. Before performing these tasks, you must make sure that the Hitachi Storage plugin for VMware vCenter is installed. To begin, log into the vSphere client interface from a browser. Click Menu and then select Hitachi Storage Plugin. Now let's see how to add a storage system. Select Storage Systems, then click Add Storage System. For the model, select Hitachi Virtual Storage Software Block, then select Next. Enter the REST API server IP address, port number, and the username and password. Select Next. On the summary page, confirm the storage system model and other information and select Finish. Refresh the vSphere client to view the added storage system. Now let's see how to provision a data store. From the Hitachi Storage Plugin Navigator, select Storage Volumes. Then click Provision Data Store. Choose VMFS Data Store and select Next. Choose the VMFS version and select Next. You can specify how many data stores you want to create. In this example, we are creating a single data store. Enter the data store name and data store capacity, then select Next. Select the storage adapter for the data stores. In this demo, we will select the iSCSI storage adapter, then select Next. On the storage configuration screen, you can configure the storage system for the data store. Select all the default values for the storage system, then select Next. To confirm the data store settings, select Finish. Data stores can also be expanded from the Hitachi plugin window. Select Data Stores. Then right click the data store you just created and select Expand Data Store to access the storage configuration. Enter the size by which you want to expand the volume. Confirm the settings of the data store on the summary page and then select Finish to complete the process. Next, let's see how to delete a data store. Before starting the delete operation, make sure the virtual storage software block information is up to date. If the information is not up to date, run Refresh Storage System. First, select Storage Volumes. Under Data Store, within Storage Volumes, select the data store you want to delete and select Delete Data Store. On the confirmation screen, select Yes. Finally, let's see how Hitachi Storage Plugin for VMware vCenter provides monitoring capabilities for Hitachi Storage System information, including list views of ESXi, hosts, data stores, virtual machines, and the storage resources they consumed. Select Data Stores to see a view of the data stores backed by Virtual Storage Software Block. Select Hosts to see ESXi hosts that consume resources from this storage system. Select Virtual Storage Machines to see the Virtual Machine list view of the registered data stores in the Hitachi Storage plugin. The enhanced features of the Hitachi Storage plugin enables you to easily perform provisioning and monitoring operations. For more information on the Hitachi Storage plugin for VMware vCenter, visit knowledge.hitachivantara.com.